Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is. Anyways, welcome to Blue Falcon TCG. Now, this is Post Maze of Millennia. Yeah, Maze of Millennia Dinosaurs. And we got some absolute super sauce in this stuff now. Um, there is a couple flex pieces that we, 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 we do want to go over. Now, we're going to go ahead and just move the Guardian Chimera into the sideboard where you can play it. However, let's jump into the list real quick. And then talk about some key ratios. So we are on the Frostosaurus, and you'll see in the extra deck as the reason why. I think this card is one, it's cool classic. It's one of the prettiest ulties out there. We are on two Ultimate Conductor Tyrannos. Card is nuts. No, I don't think we need to explain why we play UTC. We are on the True King Lithogram. We're playing three of these bad boys because we're gonna steal people's extra deck cards. I'm gonna send them to the grave. Be like, yo, you ain't. Wait, oh, you're playing Manadium? Oh man, you really need your uh, your Link One. I guess I'm gonna send that one. I mean, you know, you get the you get the drift. You all catch what we're putting on the table, you know, before the cards are drawn and whatnot. So three Litho, one Kaiju. It's searchable. Why not play it out to? I guess uh anything. We're on two Panks now. One because it's Earth, and two because it's Pank, and it's too good. We are on the one Xeno Meteoris, cards of bonkers, one giant Rex. I wish this baby should go to three. I would love to see it at two. I think two is a very, very, very fair, fair thing. Come on, Konami. Dinos aren't doing shit. Bring this baby back to two. And then Soul, of, Soul Eating Over Raptor, our main starter. Then the new card from Maze Millennia is Kytro. Anyways, Pterodactyl. If your opponent controls two or more face-up non-win monsters, those monsters cannot target this card for attack. You only use the following effect of Kaito, Kaito Terra. Once per turn during the main phase, you can add one Palmerization from your deck to hand. If this card is banished, you can special summon it and then add one Palmerization card from your graveyard. So, kind of similar to how Giant Rex has synergy with this deck when it's banished, it special summons it. So now this gives us access to some Dolkalagia plays, you know, even after or some polymerization shenanigans, right? Cool beans. Now into our babies, we are on the three, two, one golden ratio, three baby Sarasaurus, three petites, and the one uh, Armadorned. The reason, like, we don't want to over over flood our, our hand with the babies, especially even even if we're playing the Litho build, we could max petite. But um, I feel the 3 one ratio is perfect because you want to make sure we're seeing it. It was similar to that in the Scrap Synchro variant where it was just more combo. We, we had we had to have that 3 one in order to get the Scrap Package in there and still feel that consistency that Dinos do have. However, this deck does suffer from like breaks and inconsistent hands. But with this new polymerization shenanigans and let's just kind of pull our field spells, especially being able to pull Diagram. It's, it's going to be, I think it has some secret sauce to sneak into the top cuts. Now, we are in a format where anything that can perform a sort of like soft lock or can create an oppressive board is going to see a lot of success. And UTC is a walking, I'm going to floodgate you. And that's phenomenal in the, in the game where people are synchroing or pretty much if you have to synchro or exceed summon, UTC says no. Well, end link. Anything besides fusioning, UTC is going to stop. So, with that, we are moving into our spells. Double Ablution Pill at 2. 3 is too much. 1 is too little. Sure, it is searchable, but opening it up is not bad either. 3 Fossil Dig. We don't care about Droll. 3 Ground Xeno. Search is a Tuner. Or Dinosaur Normal. So, our only, our only target right now is Xeno. We can... Well... You can cut Xeno, uh, cut the Frost Source and play two Xeno, and then um, just not play a normal dinosaur at all, because you're really not using the the Xeno's effect anymore at that point. It's more for just like a like a synergy to get some more more pieces on the board. We're only playing two polymerizations. You could cut and play one since it is recurrable with the effect of it being banished from graveyard. One terraforming, one called by, one diagram. Bring diagram to three. Come on, card's not even that bad. And then three lost wins, lost worlds. Extra deck. We are playing 
one Link Rebo, one Secure Guard Enough, one IP Mascarena, one SP Little Knight, the Transaurus X Raptor, Access Code, Abyss Dweller, the Evil Package, which is one Zolka, Lagia, and Lars. Now, with this build, we are playing the Altify of Zulkin, which is absolutely just so funny. So, Zulkin, Crystal Wing, Baron de Fleur, and we are playing the Horn Saurus, which is our on summon, lets us grab a field spell and puts it on deck, doesn't search it, which is already so good. It's so good. Being able to keep our board from being safe, that's, that's all we want from dinosaurs. And it's level 6, so it opens up Lars plays or Zulkin plays, depending on what you want to do. And it lets you normal summon a dinosaur. So it's cool. You can continuously extend. And where the Guardian Chimera comes in is like, this is something you can do. Um, if you're not playing the Alphaya Zulkin build, you can cut those two. You're playing Guardian Chimera. Back. Let's jump into some test hands. And we'll go from there. We'll talk about why inboards are. Maybe someone else can help me crack it. Now this is a decently okay hand. It's not amazing. Um, we're going to go ahead, normal, OB. We're going to grab our Misk. We're going to add it to hand. We're going to activate Misk because, yes, Misk is a lot. Boom. We're going to grab Armador. Activate the Armador. Going to pop that. Grab this. We, at this point, we don't need it. This hand is not very strong by any means. Um, but we, <laughs> it, it would be nice to be able to access the polylines. And then we will pretty much end it out right here. Boom. Just a little break, not a big deal, but UTC, pop. Or you could have made been smart and went to an SP over the Link Rebo instead of that. Let's do another another test hand. Got the diagram, got the misc already. So we're gonna normal summon here. Gonna activate, then we'll chain the misc because pretending they have things. And we're gonna add baby to hand. Now this is where things get saucy. Gonna activate this. Gonna pop that. Gonna grab this right here. And then baby's going to special another baby. Activate baby. Gonna grab the baby. Baby's effect. Gonna grab us the petite right here. Well, the new dude. New dude is gonna grab us the poly. Now we're gonna activate this shenanigans, banishing for one. Gonna grab the armor door, armor door effect. Um, let's just go ahead and pop this here and grab that pill. Now we got ourselves a pretty dang solid line right here. We're not gonna get nibbed, so we don't gotta worry. We can just say, hey, good night. Let's just go ahead and snipe some extra deck pieces. We're going to go, sure. Like I said, this is just test hand, so we don't really care what we're playing into. Baby's going to grab ourselves this bad dino right here. We can go activate Polly. Boom. Going to send... Let's send these two right here. Boom. I don't care about that tournament. Boom. Now we got ourselves our field spell. Now we're going to link... Now we're gonna hit that SP. Boop. Now we got ourselves our double evolution pill. It's not the best hand, but it's a hand. And we're out here just and with and they're and they're gonna get ourselves a little token, which is nice. So now we can get imprimed on our opponent's turn. We're gonna have a Lagia or a Doka. Whatever you would honestly prefer. If you know your matchup, it's just you're good. So if you know they're playing into fucking if you're playing in the Indian, this is kind of nuts. It kind of says have droplet. And even if they did, it would still they got they got a lot to deal with. Pitching three. We'll do one more hand draw drill and we'll wrap it on up. 
Now this, this is not a good hand by any means, but let's go ahead and play it out. We're gonna grab our miski. Get a normal. See, opening up the two garnets is always terrible. Let's go ahead and chain the misk. Well, we're gonna grab baby. We're out of the hand. Activate Miss Ray Haze. Boom, armor door. We already know the standard combo line. Dinosaurs are nuts. And we're gonna grab this. Boom. Baby's effect. Let's grab another baby. We're gonna activate, pop the baby. Target the other baby. Baby, this one. We're gonna grab this guy. Boom. We'll go ahead and grab that poly. Kind of polymerization, bonk, boom. We're gonna send the Frostosaurus because we ain't using that. Really, no way we're gonna, I guess, I guess, utilize it anyway. We're gonna grab ourselves that right there. Boom. Now, we don't necessarily need to use this at all, but. We're gonna go ahead and hit our SP. We're not making the Lars. We don't need to summon. So what we're gonna do, we either gonna double evolution pill. We can, it's okay. We don't have to though. We're gonna pop these two like this, put UTC in defense. Go ahead and we're gonna trigger our two effects, which is the banished and the special summon. And then the field spell again. Now we add the poly back from grave to hand, which is super nice. We could even poly again. It's not a once per turn. Obviously, we can just keep going. And then we can get our Lars board like that, which is a target negate. So we'll... And yeah, that's kind of kind of what we got going on with this. Super fun, consistent list. Go hit to me at local. Have a blast with it. Dinos is absolutely I think it's disgusting. I think Dinos is too strong, to be honest. Like you can play it 10 million different ways. And with this little fusion package, go ahead and throw some Dogmatica stuff in there and get that window lock. And then you really got something cooking. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and check out the rest of the channel. It means so much to me. We are almost to our 500 subscriber goal. And that would mean our next trigger giveaway, which is going to be three ulti skill drains to one person. And then after that, it's going to be one case subs. So if we keep on cooking, we're going to keep on giving back to y'all for the endless support. And I get to play some really bad decks and showcase some really fun things. Remember guys, we're not bad at the game, just go ahead and shuffle better.